and welcome to today's video. This is a video that is similar to two of our previous videos regarding permissions and how to delete files or modify files and folders that are locked by maybe the Windows system or they're locked by a certain program. And our previous two videos helped tens and tens of thousands of people and it was fine. However, we did keep getting that one question. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. Okay, from a select few people. So now hopefully we're going to show you how to delete, modify a file from outside of Windows. Okay, but we'll just give a quick refresher from before. Okay, so. All right. In our Windows folder, okay, system32, anything, whichever, it could be anything for you, okay. We've created a file, a folder called test. We're just going to go to properties. We're going to go to security. We're going to go to advanced. Okay. Now, some people say, hey, I'm the administrator. I cannot delete it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, if administrators are not over here, okay, or if it's owned by, for example, system, and you're an administrator, and administrator is not over here, similar thing. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to start off with from within Windows and then go outside of Windows. So change, okay, I'm going to make the owner as Windows Ninja. Windows. Ninja. Okay. It'll find it. Brilliant. All good. Okay. Replace the owner on this. Click OK. That's fine. Click OK. Just to make sure. Then reopen it up and go to Properties, Security, Advanced. Now, as you can see, the owner is Windows Ninja, but there is no Windows Ninja over here. Now, this could be one of the reasons why you are unable to delete, change, modify. Okay, so all we need to do, well, in, just click Add, click Select Principle, find our Windows Ninja. Okay, that's our username. Okay, we've had questions in the past, what do I type for principle? It's your username. Okay, if you don't know what your username is, basically you go to System, Okay, and click on settings, click on users, accounts, okay, and you'll find your username there. So that's that, okay, give it full control, click OK, click OK, click yes, that's fine, close down there. Now. You should be able to delete it. You should be able to modify it. If you are still unable to do all this after doing these two things where you're also the owner, you're also somewhere in here and you've given yourself full control, okay, you may want to try disable inheritance and then add your user in again on here. Okay, I'll just try disable inheritance. Okay, convert all inheritance. No. Uh, let's remove all inherited. And as you can see, all we're left with is our Windows Ninja. Now click OK. Click Yes. You might need to close that down. You might need to restart your computer. And hopefully all works. If it doesn't, and this is the part where many people have had trouble because it might be locked by a program that keeps restarting every time you restart your computer it locks that file it takes ownership of the f file every time it restarts and it's a never-ending story so very simply what we've done we've got a USB di disk or USB thumb disk. We've gone to Google. Okay, we're going to type in Windows 10 ISO. Simple as that. It takes us to the Microsoft official site. Make sure, make sure you go there, not some other 
website. Click on there. Now we're going to create the Windows 10 installation media tool. What this does is it's going to download Windows 10, the full Windows 10 DVD ISO, and it's going to install it to our USB disk. Okay, let's give it a minute. Getting a few things ready. So this is the steps that you are taking. Okay, read through the license. Be sure you're okay with that. Click accept. It'll still check, 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 check. We're not trying to upgrade the PC. All we want to do is create that USB drive. Click next. Choose the kind of settings that you want. They have chosen the recommended based on how this computer is already set up. That's fine. Click next. USB flash drive. Click next. Okay. And just to make sure that we're putting it in the right place, USB drive E. Be very, very careful what you select. You don't want to overwrite anything. So there we go. It's now on E. Click next. What it will do, okay, it shall download the Windows ISO, it'll format that drive, it will then have it all set up. Once this says finished, I'm just going to stop it right now because it's going to take forever. Okay, I'm just going to quit it. That's perfectly fine. You need to be administrator to run that. Okay, I'll just show you though. Our USB E drive already has that setup installed to it. Now, what you need to do is go there, click on settings, click on update and security, then recovery. And we want this advanced startup. Restart now. What it will do, it'll give us a chance to boot to our USB. So use a device. You will probably not have all these extra things. We're using a virtual machine so we can make this video for you. So here we go. But this is it, the EFI USB device. That is roughly what you're looking for. Okay, make sure no other USB devices are plugged in except that flash drive that has the Windows 10 on it. Click there. Okay, and when it boots up, it'll give almost the window, well it is the Windows install screen. But we're not clicking install, we're going down to this little bit over here where it says repair your computer. Troubleshoot. Command prompt. And now, that one file, that one folder, etc., that was causing us problems. Make sure that you actually find your drive. Now, the way you do it is you type a drive letter and a colon. Now, in this case, it is C, okay, but sometimes the, the USB, when it boots up, it changes drive letters. So you might want to go like E and then type DIR just to make sure it doesn't have what was before. If you're looking for roughly something that has Windows, Users, Program Files, Program Files, 86, etc. like that. Over here you can see Setup. So it's obviously not our E drive. F drive. Doesn't have an F drive. Okay. And so we know it's our C drive. Generally it is C, sometimes not. Okay, DIR, you can see we're here, and ooh, I actually don't want that folder as well. I can delete that if I want to delete that as well. Okay, but we'll do for now what we were initially trying to get rid of. So CD, change directory, into Windows, which is where it was, then backslash system32. Okay, 
So now we're in that folder, okay, and we have our test um, folder that is causing us problems, okay, because of all those issues. As you can see over here, just, just trying to go into that test folder, for some reason it's gone all funny. Okay, remove directory forward slash for space test forward slash s are you sure you want to delete it it's gone okay so all that trouble that you were facing whilst within windows is now solvable outside of Windows but still using the Windows system. Let's try and go into our test drive, test folder again. As you can see it's not there. Let's just go back. Okay, backslash, cd backslash brings us back to the beginning. As you can see I had a dollars Windows. This is one of the folders that is used for the Windows update. Let's say I want to get rid of that as well. Okay, RD, remember that's remove directory, dollar, windows, dot, tilde, bt, forward slash s, are you sure, dir, as you can see, that's gone as well. Now, if I wanted to, shall we say, modify a file, okay, we can use a program called Notepad. Notepad. Type in Notepad. That brings us up with Notepad. Click on File. Click on Open. And change this to All Files so it sees everything. Now, for example, I wanted to change something in my Windows directory. Maybe it was a driver. Okay, let's go to System32. Okay, let's check, for example, a driver store. Maybe uh, file repository. One of the INFs. Okay, this is one of the driver files. Say I wanted to change it, just that's for good measure. What I did was just delete the R and put the R back, okay? But it's a, an example, and then you just click save. That's done. So we've shown you how to, from within Windows, modify permissions, change permissions, try and delete files, edit files, etc. We've shown you, if all doesn't work, how to create this Windows boot USB drive, boot up into it, and then perform what you need to do. Please be very, very careful, because just like I deleted that folder over there, I could delete the entire Windows folder, I could delete system files, system32, if it's causing you a problem, you shouldn't be deleting it because there are a lot of folders in your computer that are actually Windows system folders. So please only modify, delete what you really, really know you need to delete. Okay? We accept no responsibility if your computer does not work by using this technique. Thank you for watching. This should hopefully help, finally. Have a lovely day.